Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial video. Today I'll be taking you through the process of completing this lion-haired tamarind in soft pastels. As you can see here, I've laid down a layer of black tempera paint for a dark shadow base layer. And now that the base layer is dry, I'm beginning to work from the darkest burgundy red tones up to the lighter oranges. I'll be using Carbothello pastel pencils as well as Conti and Faber-Castell pastel sticks throughout this project. The sticks are generally used to fill in the darker undertones, while the pencils I use are for doing the fine line work and details. You'll also notice from time to time that I'll be using a pastel stomp or tortillion to blend the colors together, as well as pastel sponges to smooth the colors out. The key when working with soft pastels, as I mentioned a moment ago, is to work from dark to light. The reason for this is because it can be difficult to go back and create realistic shadows after the brighter highlights and colors have been put down. The black tempera that I've used gives me the ability to lay down a dark shadowy background that I can then go over with pastel pencils and not have to worry about the colors blending with the black and causing it to muddy the color itself. So because I'm working from right to left, which I rarely do when working with pastels, I'm using just a regular sheet of printer paper to keep my hand from smudging my work. It just creates a nice barrier between the blade of my hand and the pastel board. If you'd like to see the full extended tutorial version of this video, it will be available on my Patreon page along with other tutorials covering a wide variety of mediums. In it, I cover all of the tips and tricks I use to complete this drawing from start to finish. The majority of it is in real time. See the link below in the description if you're interested in signing up for that. So what I've done here is mix together two colors from my pastel sticks on a sheet of paper to create the fleshy tone for the monkey's face. Using a sponge tool, I blend this color out and into the darker shadows. And now realizing that the hairs on the left side and top of the monkey will be covering the background, I decide to go ahead and fill this area in with the colors I've chosen for the background. Once this is complete, I go back to my drawing, working again from the darkest colors to the lightest. I'll work in the finer details last, and finish it up with the bright highlights. It's also important to note here that I'm working on a rough sandpaper-like surface here made by Ampersand called Pastel Board. This board is one of my favorites because it remains stiff and rigid throughout the process of painting and drawing, and the tooth of the board really holds on to the pastels really well.
Well, thank you for watching. Please remember, if you haven't already done so, to like and subscribe below. And don't forget to check the links in the description. And I'll see you next time.